Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Monday, October 21st, 2024. Yes, it's another up day. All right, let's get over to Kitco and check the price. Gold up 1770 to 2739. Silver, wow, already up 44 cents to 34.11. In the GSR, uh, let me reload this. And the gold-silver ratio has plummeted down to about 80, with downside to 75, and upside back to 90. But we are on a run here with silver. Silver outperforming gold, obviously. All right, on the 10-year. 10-year up a little bit, to 0.057 to 4.13. Busted through the 4.1 level, threatening to go higher. Really hoping the 10-year tops out here. This is not good for metals. And the dollar is also stronger at 103.57, up 0.11. And a strong dollar, not good for metals either, but it looks like the speculators have jumped on board the silver and gold train. All right, in the copper market, copper is up 3 cents to 4.442, uh, certainly threatening to uh, move back to $5, and it could easily do that. All right, as we move into another inflationary cycle. In the economic calendar, we've got Fed head speaker. We've got leading economic indicators, more Fed heads. Tuesday, Fed head. Wednesday, uh, existing home sales. And Thursday, the all-important initial jobless claims, uh, also uh, PMI. All right, and then Friday, durable goods orders. So, uh, you know, we are gearing up to Thursday here, it looks like. What is happening? Um, what to say about this? Um, you know, the, qu the quarter point cut in November is basically baked in. And I seriously doubt they'll do more than a quarter point. Um, but, uh, you know, odds of a half point cut are, um, are very, very low at this point. So that is what the market is expecting. If for some reason things weaken uh, substantially in the labor market or in the you know, in the economy, they could push it back to a half point, but we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. In the pre-market, we are back in extreme greed at 75 on the fear greed index. We got the Dow futures down 69, S&P futures down 15, NASDAQ futures down 91. All right, and let's just see what's going on with Bitcoin. Is it 70,000 yet? Uh, 68,127, pullback in Bitcoin. Okay, I just wanted to point out quickly um, the gold and silver miners. If you've missed this, then you've missed a very significant breakout in the GDX. This is a basket of gold miners. Look at that thing popping to, uh, to new highs. Is it a one-year high? Yes. Is it a five-year high? Uh, yes. Is it a all-time high? No. Okay, here's where we're going with the gold miners from 43 up to 60. I'm not saying that's going to happen today, but it looks like that is the path. How about silver miners? Well, let's take a look at the SIL, a basket of silver miners, and here we have a one-year high. Do we have a five-year high? No, we do not have a five-year high. So silver miners lagging gold miners. Um, so uh, I keep a basket of those in my portfolio, and I'm happy I have. Um, looks like these are going to run as well. All right, let's get on to the deals, and uh, I have changed my light to caution here. I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, let's get going and find the best deals we can. But as I've said many times, you, you know, you can pretty much buy gold anytime. It's just on an escalator up, uh, given uh, you know profligate spending. Uh, either of the two candidates want to do nothing but spend or cut taxes, and uh, you know there's no fiscal conservative anywhere to be seen in Congress or in the White House. So uh, yeah, you know, that just says inflation is coming back. Money printing will not be held back. The uh, the deficit is at an all-time high. So uh, yeah, gold and silver, man, that's what's going to save you. Will the stock market save you? No, I think the stock market will crush you at some point, but hasn't happened yet, and I've been wrong about that. Okay, best one gram gold. This is a pretty good buy for one gram gold. Uh, multiply that by 32, and you'll see it's a pretty darn good buy. It could come outside of the assay, but 97.98. If you want to buy gold today, I might buy that. All right, in a one-tenth gold eagle, we've got 306. 
<clears throat> at bullion exchanges. In a one-tenth maple, we have got uh, 306 at Liberty Coin. In a one-tenth Britannia, we've got 289 at Monument Metals, good price there. And a one-tenth Philharmonic, we've got 301 at Bold. Let's go on to a quarter-ounce Gold Eagle, and that is 746 at Bold. <clears throat> a quarter-ounce Britannia is... 7.33 at bold. Five dollar commemorative is 6.75 at bullion exchanges. Getting pricier. All right, we've got a half ounce gold eagle at bullion exchanges 14.53. We've got a half ounce maple at Pinehurst 14.42. We've got a one ounce gold eagle at Pinehurst 28.27. We've got a one ounce buffalo at bold for 28.44. We have a one ounce maple at Bullion Exchanges 2784. We have a one ounce Britannia over at Bullion Exchanges 2799. We have a Kruger Ann, the cheapest of the sovereign gold, and if you're not buying gold eagles, you might as well buy these. Buyback price will probably be the same at your LCS. By the way, I went to my LCS on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess I might as well tell you here. Because I wanted to check out if his buy prices were changing, and no change at all. He's still paying a dollar back a spot for small silver, dollar fifty back a spot for big silver, and uh, his uh, sell prices were very reasonable, very close to spot. So no change at my local LCS, although um, you, you'll see uh, JM Bullion dropping their buy prices here. Uh, don't sell anything to them. Okay, we've got a 50 peso over at Bold for 3,429. And we've got a 20 franc, uh, the Rooster 531 over at Apmex. And then one ounce gold in Assay, Hero Bullion 2,791. Not a bad price considering. We've got a Platinum Eagle, new seller, Monument Metals, 1,218. Do you see Platinum trying to catch up to gold here? Palladium maybe as well, but Platinum definitely moving up. All right, uh, in the Platinum Coin category, new player here, Provident. You can get that uh, Platinum uh, Kangaroo at 1,111. Yeah, I know they were cheaper before when it was under 1,000. Uh, you can get a... Oh, I forgot to take that out, I guess. Okay, you can get a Platinum Bar at uh, SD Bullion, 1,096. And if you want to speculate in Palladium, 1,182 at Bullion Exchanges, but out of the assay, 1,162 at Bullion Exchanges. Let's get going to Silver Eagles. One at spot at Bullion Exchanges. Remainder of the tube, same place, 38.57. You believe that? God, 38.57 for Silver Eagles. Holy mackerel. That means that uh, people will be paying 40, they'll be paying 45, 50. You know, people kind of go crazy with Eagles when the FOMO comes back. I don't think the FOMO is quite here yet because I don't see people buying a lot. Uh, we've got a tube of 20, much cheaper at 37.81. So clearly Pinehurst thinks the price is <clears throat> maybe topping here. I don't know if that's true or not. Nothing new at the U.S. Mint. Nothing new with the flowing hair, except keep checking for the re-release if it ever comes back out. Now, my caution light. What I've said here is um, on today's date, caution. Looking for silver to top out at 35. Yeah, I think we could run to 35. I've been saying for weeks and months that you know we could see 34, 35. But at some point, there has to be a retest. I would keep your silver purchases small today and look for, um, you know, look for the retest of, or the test of 35 possibly, and then a retest at some point. If it bounces off 32.50, um, then uh, you, you'll want to load the boat. But I'm feeling a little toppy here at 34.35. As I've said before, you can buy gold anytime. We'll just find you the best deal on gold. Uh, not to worry there. Although we have bricks coming up and there could be a disappointment. There could be a run-up in gold. I mean, gold could be $2,800 tomorrow. Um, but then whatever happens at bricks may be a sell-the-news moment. So there you have my thoughts. If you are going to buy silver, 
I would probably buy junk. I would limit my purchases to junk or something with an extreme discount right now. Like junk is one of the cheapest things you can buy. Okay, nothing new in the uh, videos. We got one maple at spot at bullion exchanges. Remainder of the tube, same place at 37.42. We've got kangaroos, one at spot at bullion exchanges. Remainder 36.61. Britannia's are 3631, not a bad price at bullion exchanges. And Philharmonics have been the cheapest of the sovereign silver at 3541. Let's keep going here. Uh, on Costco, absolutely nothing up. Now, the way you get uh, the deals on Costco, which is a place that I would be watching continuously throughout the day, um, I've been doing alerts, but uh, often they go out of stock before you guys get them. All right, I'm back. Now, uh, as to Costco, you're probably not going to find a much better price anywhere, especially on gold. Um, now, if the Silver Eagles come out at a good price, great. But gold has been the buy there, and with the 4% discount, 2% uh, executive club rebate, and 2% on your credit card. If you don't have a good credit card, I recommend the Wells Fargo cashback card. All right, so keep watching Costco. Um, they're very low on stock, but if you refresh throughout the day using my links here, uh, or if you have another website that's giving you better information, um, go ahead and do that, and uh, you can definitely pick up the gold on Costco, and let's hope for the Eagles to come back. I think they will. Okay, uh, moving on. Oh, and one more thing. I mentioned uh, the LCS. Get, I, I'd like you all, for those of you with a good size stack, um, and you know, you're thinking about selling or selling some, rotating from silver to gold, gold to silver, platinum, whatever you want to do. I'd like you to um, get down to your local coin shop and I want you to ask him what his buy prices are. Okay, see if he's buying and see what he's paying for one ounce gold buffaloes and big silver like 100 ounce bars and, and you can check out gold as well and then see what he's selling for but just get down there maybe you know buy five dollars of junk well you know whatever uh, uh, deepens your relationship while you're doing that find out what he is buying <coughs> and if he is buying just open that door right now the next thing i'd like you to do for you guys with a big old stack is get your stack out get it back to the house um, put it on the kitchen table sort it all right by the things that you may want to consider selling we could push to 35 today and then push back to 32 or we could just keep running okay the market is running it's happening more with the speculators than it is with the stackers i don't think there is retail fomo here i think people are selling and looking to get a good price so figure out what your lcs is paying take your stack put it on the table and divide it into stuff you can part with and stuff that is in your long-term deep stack the stuff you can part with then consider what you may want to sell <clears throat> in the uh, silver category I'm mostly talking about, or trade out, you know, trade out generic bars for silver eagles, uh, trade out, you know, what, whatever, whatever, you know, purchase you weren't happy with, uh, key, kilos for junk, uh, you know, I mean, I can't tell you what to trade or whether to trade or just to reduce the size of your stack. But uh, get ready, get ready here. If silver keeps moving up to 40 or 45, you want to have a game plan. And for those of you that are long-term hold guys, just passing it on to the grandkids, okay, don't worry about it. But there is always a time to sell silver, especially if you've got out of balance with your silver to gold stack, like I have, you know, way too much poured silver, you know, and not enough gold. Um, you can you can improve your stack and just find out if your LCS is buying, what he's paying, what you may want to get rid of, and what you may want to reduce when we if we spike beyond 35. I don't know that I would do it today, but uh, you know if we if we start running, you you want to get down to the LCS and bring the cash register. Just my thoughts. You may disagree. Okay, and watch Costco for really good deals. Here is junk, the cheapest junk. <clears throat> we can find is 25.18 times face for Kennedy halves and more for walkers and even more for mercs. 
premiums are expanding on the more desirable junk, the dimes and the halves, and certainly the mercs. Okay, in the 10-ounce uh, bar category, you're going to pay Elemental out of stock. You're going to pay Proclaim Liberty $354, not a bad price. And they've also got the best price on the uh, Kilo Proclaim Liberty, $1,134, $1,134. Divided by 32.15, why am Ah, there we go, 35.27. So they're, they're, they're charging a dollar over spot for kilos. That's the other way you can keep your purchase price lower is, you know, look for stuff near spot or at spot. Switch to kilos. If you really believe in silver's big move, which is probably ahead of us, then there's nothing wrong with big silver. Now, if you go to sell it, you know, it's going to be a dollar, dollar fifty back. You know, if you go to sell it to JM Bullion, it'll be five dollars back a spot. Those dirty so and so's. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a good price on a kilo. Uh, what's the kazoo three ounce bar going for? Uh, 111. Um, <laughs> I can't do that math. Let's do 111, 111. Divided by three, 37. Oh, well, they raised the price on that. No, don't don't buy that at 37. <clears throat> okay, and uh, let's do a tube of 20. Uh, generic are going to go for 707. That's about 35 an ounce. That's only 65 cents over spot. That That's a decent buy this morning if you're buying. But I'd keep your purchases small. Okay, um, I won't even look at the flowing hairs this morning. Well, we'll take a look at the generic uh, flowing hair. Uh, somebody that bought it looking for the privy and is selling it. Uh, $195, cheapest price you can find on that this morning. Yes, they are out of stock at the U.S. Mint. Let's do eBay because we're going to beat these prices, I hope. Um, let's see. You can get milk spots, milk spots. Let's get away from those. Okay, BU 2016, type 1. Good seller. It's got a bunch of them. Ooh. Why aren't you showing us the coins? I guess they're sealed. <clears throat> okay, you'll have to take his word for it. Uh, let's do the math. Uh, $12 shipping. Oh, so seven, call it $7.50, $37.50 uh, per Eagle, $36.50 after credit card rebates. I recommend the PayPal card or the American Express credit cards. <clears throat> the clear blue cash, I think it's called. Check out through PayPal. That should give you 3% back. Um, so $36.50 on Eagles will put you at uh, about $250 over or so. That's not a bad price on Eagles. Don't fear the Eagles, guys. Uh, let's go on to a maple. Tuba maples. I doubt that's real. 909. Uh, 909 divided by 25. I don't think I can do that math. 909 divided by the accursed 25 in a tube. And 3636, about 3536 for maples, about a buck fifty over spot on eBay if you are buying. And gonna be similar pricing on the Britannia's kangaroos and the Krugerrands. How about junk? Let's see if we can get a decent deal on junk this morning. We don't want the slicks. Uh, better condition, Walking Liberty's $5 face. I want $10 face. No dates, uh, $5 face. Why do those keep coming up? Uh, $10 face, uh, 24.8. Let's see if you can charge you shipping. Free shipping, uh, fair seller, but I don't know. Fair, fair seller, so 24.8. Take 75 cents off. You'd be about 24 times spot, uh, 24 times face on junk. Uh, and what was it above? Carry the junk. Okay, here we go. Is it uh, better than four? 24 times face. Yeah, look, 25, 25. So uh, best price is on eBay for junk this morning. <clears throat> right there. You get that 3% credit card working for you, you're going to save like a dollar. That's good. That's a good price. Okay, I got to get back to my eBay listings. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let me keep going here on eBay. What else is cheap on eBay? Uh, let's see. Oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, there's the junk. Okay, it might be cheaper in the bigger bags as well. 
And uh, the Mercs are going for, whoa, 27 times face. Okay, Carson City Morgans. Now, when uh, spot is increasing, often numismatics and collector coins don't follow because that's a whole different market. You can get an 1884 Carson City Morgan for 319 uh, that is not slabbed. I recommend you buy the slabbed ones for 319. There's an 1882 for 319 in MS63. If you want to go up to the MS65, definitely worth um, investing in. Okay, uh, don't get the ICG slabs. Get the PCGS. Those are about five hundred dollars. You can buy all of those you want today and put them away for ten years. If you just want to get a beautiful hundred-year-old piece dollar in the slab in MS64, they're only sixty dollars. Buy a hundred of those. Okay, that's a good long-term hold right there. Why? Because there are lots of piece dollars, but there are not lots of um, the um, the high relief uh, piece dollar and those are about 1500 but that is the money coin in piece dollars very few of those out there Libertads are going for thir uh, uh, 3950 oh they finally went up okay Libertads more expensive this morning how about a 10 ounce bar okay let's find a nice 10 ounce bar for you uh, 337 okay local pickup uh, Local, yeah, okay. 10 ounce Sunshine Mint Bar. That's still there. Nobody bought it. Uh, $6 shipping, and it is good seller, and you can make him an offer. Yeah, pick that up on the cheap. Very nice bar. Not not an old bar, but a nice bar. Okay, so you'll beat those uh, 10 ounce prices, I think, with that. Uh, and a kilo kook. Uh, let's see, 1140, 1149. 1150, 1179. That's mine. That's my. I'm selling my second kilo kook. Just ringing the cash register, guys. Rotating that money through my stack. But I have an eBay store, and I know most of you don't. So uh, that that gives me an advantage. Uh, but then again, I got to pay tax if I make any money. So you know, it's a mixed bag. Okay, 101 ounce round stackable Morgans. Ooh, nice. 3585, about 3485 after rebates if you like those. Um, so check the one ounce rounds there <coughs> and a lot of 20 we can get them for 35 a coin about 34 after rebates uh, let's see let's see golden analytic bar and it's 369 somebody must have had a trunk load of those they'll go away eventually all right johnson matthew bars and the vintage is not catching a bit i will tell you um, not the one troy ounce we want the 10 ounce not get the vintage bars, man. They're a pretty good buy right now. Some people are changing their strategy and buying only vintage or numismatics like the Morgans and Peace dollars in BU form. It's not a bad time to load up on that stuff. Uh, let me skip the 10 ounce bars and go to here's a BU Peace dollar tube. Now you see the Peace dollars are not as desirable as the Morgans, but those are about 36. Okay, BU Brilliant Uncirculated. Um, and the Morgans, uh, this is what my friend uh, Gold Addict is buying. Uh, 723, that's 35 a coin out the door. Those are 1921s. You pretty much don't want those. You want to get the pre 21s, and those are 845. Oh, you really got to pay up for those. Maybe I would get the 21s. Great Christmas stuffer, and they're going to be just beautiful. They're not going to be MS65, but they're going to be beautiful. Platinum Eagle, can we beat 1200 bucks? Uh, 1231 okay and then you'll take 36 dollars off you'll be under 1200 on a platinum eagle i may want to consider my platinum selling my platinum eagles at some point but i think they got a hundred dollars more to go before i do okay one gram gold is never a good deal on ebay um, this is where people sell it not where they buy it um, get that 97 dollar deal because one gram gold is going to be look at that 110 bucks 104 bucks yeah, no, no deals on eBay on one gram gold because small stackers go to eBay to buy gold. I don't, I don't know. Go figure that. One tenth random gold, okay. And I would be buying gold today. I do not fear gold. Uh, let's see, uh, 2024, 292 for that one tenth Britannia. Then you're going to take nine dollars off. You'll be at about one. Uh, you'll be at about 280 on a platinum Britannia this morning in the quarter ounce category. Uh, you can get uh, keychain. No, let's find something decent. 
Uh, I think this, oh, how about this? Uh, varied condition. I don't know, you may, you may want to step down in your condition as well as you try to get the better deals. 717, you're going to take $21 off. You're going to be under 700 for a quarter ounce gold. That's 2800 melt. That's just a hair over spot. Yeah, maybe you get some crappy gold in your stack here if you just don't want to pay up. It's time to reconsider your strategies. Uh, quarter ounce gold eagle is going to be, I got to get to the right, the real listings. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, let me start at the beginning. Let's start at the very beginning. Is it going to be 750? It is going to be 765. Good seller. 765 minus 25 bucks puts you at about 740 on quarter ounce gold eagle. And I got to check up above. Make you dizzy how. 740. 740 versus. 746 save six dollars okay that's not a home run right there let's get back to ebay uh let's try something bigger like a half ounce oh let's go right to the one ounce gold eagle what do you say one ounce gold eagle 28.50 do i believe it do i believe 28.50 oh it's an old one too it's a good seller, $28.50. Oh, he's going to be $20 shipping. So uh, $28.70. Then you're going to take $90 off. You're going to be at $27.80. Yeah, that's a good price on a Gold Eagle right there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So people aren't going to buy this because the shipping charge is so high, but uh, it's a good price on a Gold Eagle. Now, when you do these, uh, when you look for these, click through my links on my website. That's one of the ways that I get compensation, and I do appreciate you doing that. And uh, it helps me keep going, and if you want me to keep going, please do that. All right, and in a buffalo category, well, we saved you money on that gold eagle. How about the buffalo? 2864, is it a real seller? JM Bullion, 2864, you're going to take $90 off. Wow, good deal on a buffalo there. Uh, let me just, for giggles, go over to JM Bullion and type in Gold Buffalo. That's what I want to teach you guys. I know everybody comes into this at different phases, but um, if you are loyal to one coin shop, I mean, look at this. $29.31 on the website. $28.81, and that won't even be the cheapest price. There'll be $28.96. Did you see what we found this for? 28.64 minus 3%. Are you starting to get it? I hope so. This is what I want to help you guys with. Uh, let me keep going. Uh, well, you've already found several deals. On the Krugerrands, cheapest Krugerrand, 28.30. Again, $90 off on that. You can't beat big gold on eBay. Uh, I'm going to skip some of the others, uh, but pre-33, maybe that's a good deal as well. Cheapest pre-33, 27.76. Uh, $90 off, put you in the 2600s for a very, another good deal. You see, gold, I think people are selling their gold, I guess. Uh, go figure. Okay, let me keep going here, and I'm not going to do Norfeds, Inglehard Rounds, or Scottsdale. The prices on some of the poured silver is really reasonable right now. If you want that in your stack, it is beautiful. Just keep your percentage. <clears throat> Don't do what I did. I mean, I made like you know, a huge proportion of my stack poured silver. It was a mistake. Okay, and that's why I'm selling it at such good prices on the website. All right, uh, copper pennies, you know you can pick those up. All right, stuff in my eBay store, get in there, take a look around, and if you see something you like, ask me for a friend discount. If I've got it super discounted, then I may not be able to, but there is some cool stuff in there, definitely some poured silver you'll want and other stuff and uh, i appreciate you guys and these are the bars that the member the channel members can obtain for 250 over spot let's keep going stuff you may want to buy to enhance your stacking journey if you're doing garage sales and whatnot you need a precious metals verifier or a pocket pinger or a cct uh, slide or something to make sure you don't get any uh, any faked uh, silver or gold. Empty mon monster boxes to fill up, a food saver to vacuum seal, that stuff. Ways to bury your silver and gold. Refine your bars in the devil farge. Take those big bars, make them into small bars, and you know, cast something cool. You know, you don't even need a mold to cast silver. All you need 
<clears throat> is a, uh, a metal pan and, uh, you know, a pound of, uh, of uh, Delft clay or Petro bond. And uh, you can push your favorite uh, image into the, uh, the uh, sand and you can pour it, you know, right out of the Devil Forge. I used to pour big copper skulls. I have a big copper skull um, toy that uh, those are bitching, man. Do that, man. Get you some copper bars, buy a Devil Forge for a hundred bucks, basically, and uh, get you like a big, uh, big skull head or something, or a Santa Claus, or uh, push that into the Petra Bond. You can also get the old. Um, uh, the old molds, the cast iron molds, they have those at Christmas. Anyway, oh man, you name it, I've done it. That's a lot of fun. <clears throat> and uh, you can probably make something you can sell if you want. Maybe I should be doing that again. Okay, 3% Amex card, great card. PayPal card, great card. Um, pick of the day, uh, I'm not going to go through them because I didn't add anything new. It's all about spot price right now. Uh, let's see, what this unicorn, he's out of stock, yeah. Uh, how about gold? Let's just find, uh, well, maybe the Libertads. My LCS raised his uh, sell price <clears throat> on Libertads to $5 over, so I didn't buy those Libertads. Man, I should have been in them there when they were 4 over and spot was $4 less. Uh, let's see, anything else new here? I'm just not going to go through them all. You guys have to get to the website, check it out. It's updated every day. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to... Uh, Change the update time, but it was it, it was updated before 6 a.m. and uh, every day I do that. The silver is trading to get the best deals anywhere on the internet. Subscribe here, subscribe there, subscribe everywhere. It's all totally free. Here's the three coin shops I recommend. I highly recommend all three. And uh, with Vermilion, you just got to ask him what his shipping charges are. Somebody made a big, big order from them recently, and he charged them $50 shipping. So he's rolling in the cost of insurance into his shipping charges. And so not everything is apples to apples. Uh, junk silver is what I'd be buying from him. You could buy Silver Eagles, but I'd be buying his junk at 50 cents over spot. I'd be doing that all day long if you are buying. I appreciate you patronizing newretirement.com slash Bolden. It is a great tool to plan your retirement and just plan your overall financial health. Even if you're 40, 50, 60 years old, get to it. Get to it, you know. The sooner you start planning, the better you do. Thank you for the cups of coffee. I do appreciate you tithing back to the channel to support me. And I do appreciate the members. Thank you so much for the members of the channel. Each and every one of you has uh, joined the website by clicking the Join button. It's $4.99 a month. And uh, you'll get uh, some perks that uh, other people don't get. But most people get absolutely everything for free, so do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And I appreciate your thumbs up. On Amazon, the silica packs are indispensable for keeping tarnish away from your silver. Ways to prep with really good taste in food. And bikes to outrun the zombie hordes or safes to keep everything safe. All right, anything else up here? Let's check the chat room. Get into the chat room as well because uh, people are having good discussions in there. And let's see what we got going this morning. Uh, yeah, people talking about how, how to buy with the PayPal cards, Scottsdale Silver. Uh, they also often beat me to the punch on the Costco, um, the Costco sales when those come out. And, uh, well, you know, and good videos get posted in there, etc. So uh, check that out and join the inner circle. It's totally free. All right. And that's all I will give you today, except we will check spot one more time. Is it $35 yet? <laughs> we'll see. Oh my gosh, $34.17. Wow. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. It's running. This is happening. Once in a decade move is happening. Um, I don't know what else to say. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck out there. Bye.